Uh, game day in, in when we have a, a game I'm a different guy but I really don't feel the weight I'm really excited and I'm quite relaxed you know uh. so after Manchester United officially confirmed Ruben Amorim as a new head coach he made his first interview and he talked about many things and here is Ruben Amorim's offensive tactics that he's expected to use at United Amorim's 3-4-3 possession based approach has been relatively consistent during his four years at Sporting during the build-up phase Amorim has been altered between two structures in the first one of the center back steps in to create a flat three-man midfield allowing the narrow front three to remain high and in the second more recently used structure Amorim opts for a 44 shape with the first two lines in a more fixed position structure whilst the front four can often be more flexible and fluid in the progression phase Amorim structure is a modern 325 with both wing backs pushed forward into the last line and his center backs are often very wide which allows them to create his diamond shape with a variety of positional rotations and split runs ahead. And in the final third, with many players positioned closely together centrally, we often see direct balls into the forwards, followed by quick and fluid combinations in and around the penalty area. These types of combinations have frequently led to teams tightening their shape against Sporting to protect the central spaces, which in turn creates more time and space for their win backs with a constant threat of three or four players attacking the box. But why has playing out from the back become so popular in recent years? Well, tactically speaking, these are two main reasons and it's control and space. Teams that build from the back gain the ability to control and dictate phases of play by opting to keep possession rather than kicking the ball long where the chances of retaining possession are much lower. Modern goalkeepers are now expected to be involved in the build-up, creating an advantage since the opposition's goalkeeper is never part of the team's press. The numerical advantage enables team playing out from the back to bait pressure from the opposition through short passes or even posing on the ball to invite the press. As the opposition plays forward, spaces can open up further up the field, allowing for more effective forward passes that exploit gaps in the opposition structure. But where do the risks lie? Well, turnovers in possession can be very costly. If the pressing team wins the ball back or there is a technical error during the build-up, it often leads to a goal-scoring opportunity due to the short distance to goal and the larger gaps between players during the build-up play, which makes recovery runs difficult. With the change of style of play expected, we may might see a lot of rotation in player positions and it might be a game changer as many systems have failed to work out in recent years. Fellow Reds, a quick one richness from the camp. Subscribe, like, share and be here for more updates.